Yo guys, Steven here from Team Comic Con and we have a very, very cool, chilled, relaxed, special guest today, uh, Dylan Buckle. Dylan, how are you doing, man? I'm very well. How are you, Steve? Awesome. Awesome, Dylan. Obviously, crazy times. Uh, awkward. Weird. I don't know. Um, maybe a, a perfect time for um, tabletop gaming in, in, the, in the sense as well. Yo, oh, a lot of people would think that in a situation like lockdown, tabletop is an activity that will become completely obsolete. But uh, over the past while, um, we've really tried to change an approach to tabletop and have a play at home approach. Nice. Um, so yeah, a lot of your favorite stuff can be done, uh, you know, okay. through online right. activities and stuff like that. Like it, man. So um, obviously to the people out there that don't know about this, that don't know it's possible to, to, get, um, to get tabletop in your home, online, um, connecting with other people right now, what is your feel? Give us, give us some information. Let us know, man. We want to we wanna get on there. So if we look at the tabletop industry from one side to the other, we have the yep. trading card games, your Pokemon, Yu-Gi-Oh! and Magic the Gathering. Those yep. all have independent digital titles already that the, the publishers okay. have made. So if okay, you're a fan nice. of the TCG and you're unable yep. to make it to your friend's house or you know, go to your local hobby store, you'll be able to yep. download these games and play them for free. They're all okay. freely accessible. Um, right. Board games, on the other hand, a lot of the board game publishers have posted digital versions of their board games. There are simulators. There are a whole bunch of platforms that you're able to use. Even if you use Zoom and one person has a board game, some cooperative board games can be played remotely um, with one yes. copy of the board game and everyone tuning in on Zoom. So yeah. the, the possibilities are endless and the creativity has been flowing during lockdown. Yeah. Have you seen the, the increase of creativity with, uh, with regards to like people making it online or using uh, social media, for example, to then uh, incorporate all, all their mates or perhaps find new, new uh, players as well? Yeah, so one of the most fun and exciting things I've seen that is even outside of the tabletop sphere was that on Twitter, people were doing the uh, this Twitter pub challenge where you were oh, wow. able to participate in a quiz via Twitter using a hashtag um, to be able to do like a little bit of a pub quiz when you're sitting at home with your glass of wine. So oh, really wow. seeing people take advantage of lockdown and you know socialize in a different way and capitalize yeah. on most virtual interaction which we have to admit is the future in any case yeah so i mean i think uh in, in general it was it was always going to move in this direction i think uh maybe this time is just maybe uh, speeded up that process and allowed certain certain people to either get ahead or fall behind on this yeah and um i think that for people who are fans of tabletop you know before the lockdown you know we kind of had to find a way to get our fix <laughs> so yeah. all of the all of the online platforms but it's also been really nice being able to incorporate newer players into the scene um yeah. but also people across many different industries are moving online you know yeah. trying to uh, i've got friends that do yoga for example that are now doing yoga classes via instagram live you know oh, wow. it's, it's yeah. absolutely amazing learning yeah. new skills and you know really putting their uh, their uh, themselves out yeah. there do you, do you feel like that you're gonna that you're gonna see like a drop off of um traditional if we can call it traditional tabletop gamers uh, converting now into this new digital space i think that we won't because yeah. this movement into the digital space will almost create a separate industry yes. um the the tabletop industry as it exists now thrives on social interaction so what yes. happens between you and I just above the table is really what is more important, not what's actually happening on the table. So yes. personally, when I go and play tabletop, I go for the community. A lot yeah. of our friendly local hobby stores have amazing communities uh, mm -hmm. around many games and um, you know, many different systems. So I think that aspect will always draw people back. Uh, yeah. As long as you know, humans are still uh, you know, cooperating in society, I think that it's, it, it won't die out. Yeah. Awesome, awesome. So um, obviously, you 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 fall part of, a huge part of Solar Pop and and the amazing stuff that Solar Pop's doing for the community, right? So what is what is Solar Pop uh, in, on the on the own do, doing during these um, during these times? Well, Solar Pop is the distribution side of things, and Unplug Yourself yeah. is our marketing aspect. Yeah. So from you know from uh, Unplug Yourself side, we are engaging the community, trying to encourage online play, and pushing our campaign hashtag Play at Home. Uh, yes. This is both to kind of push the idea of social responsibility during this time, stay yeah. at home, but uh, also integrating a, a state of play where we're going to be creating a community where people can come and bring their ideas, bring, you know, inspiration to this group uh, we have created. 
to be able to, you know, kind of expand your tabletop experience while in lockdown. So that is the, the, the main part of what we're doing now is pushing that campaign forward and trying to involve as many gamers and non-tabletop gamers in this initiative. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah, I think well, the nice aspect is that pretty much everybody's online now. I mean, nobody's really disconnected from society in a sense because um, like obviously social distancing is social distancing. But I mean, in the same sense, this conversation is not social distancing in itself. Do you know what I mean? So I think like yeah. in that same sense, like there's no losing grip from reality in that, in that sense. Mm. Um, so uh, do you want to maybe prov provide us with some platforms and give us some, some, some hints, uh, especially to the people out there that are watching to, to check where they could possibly uh, find some platforms to get, um, to get playing? Okay, so the place I would recommend that you start is uh, our Facebook group, Play at Home, that we've created. Yeah. Um, cool. It'll have all of the articles that have been written and all of the great ideas from people around the country in that group, okay. and I'll provide, the link, provide that link to you. Um, but to just give you a rundown is on the um, board game side, there is an app called uh, Tabletop Simulator, which is available on Steam, which basically yeah. allows you to have any tabletop experience simulated on your PC, and you can play okay. with multiple friends. Nice. Asmodee is one of the, the biggest publishing uh, houses in the world for board games and they've created a, a digital array of board games that you can play on yeah. your mobile, you can play on your PC, um, really accessible and also quite decently priced for digital versions of board games. So okay, nice. that is, that's very exciting. Those, those are things like your Ticket to Ride, your Catan, um, your Small World Carcassonne, those kinds okay. of things. So really, you know, entrenched games that you can go yeah. and access through Asmodee. Um, okay. Catan is also yeah. available through Catan Universe. It's its own platform yeah. um, where you're able to play for free, connect with some friends and play the, 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 you know, the timeless classic Catan. Yeah. Um, as a role player for the Dungeons and Dragons players and the yeah. um, Starfinder Pathfinder players, Roll20 is a platform that allows you to have a virtual D&D um, &D game set up. So you can oh, have wow. your dungeon master basically create the scene, set up the maps and then basically control this game on a, on yeah. a website through a browser. Okay. So, yeah, those are, those are some of the main ideas that we can look at. Um, there's also Uno, which is uh, available yeah. on uh, the Uplay store, Old Faithful, um, a digital Uplay. version. Yeah. Old Faithful plus four. Um, yeah. So, yeah, so many things that you can do um, yeah. across many different platforms. Okay. Um, so, obviously, uh, it's 21 days of isolation, right? It's not just like one week, it's not a few days. What have you found yourself doing outside of uh, gaming, outside of pop culture? What have, you, what have you found yourself doing? I know a lot of people, are, if we look at social media, a lot of people are baking, they're in the garden, they're finding something different or possibly even a new hobby. What have you found yourself doing then? So I've been doing quite a lot of writing. Um, okay. Before, you know, when I was still in high school, I was doing a lot of reading and writing. And um, yeah. now during lockdown, I've really found myself sort of diving back into it. Been working yeah. on a little bit of a novelette. So it's been nice to be given the time and the space to kind of dive back into creative writing. Outside of yeah. that, um, a lot of sim racing as well. I enjoy uh, simulation racing. So Formula yeah. One. Yeah. Um, yeah, and trying to convince my roommate to play a two-player board game with me every now and then. So, <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much been the summary of my after hours. The rest of the yeah. time, we're working on the ground, trying to, uh, you know, develop a community inside of this lockdown period. Yeah. So we go. We're not going to expect any muffins from you anytime soon, right? Hey, well, you never know. Hey, don't count it out. It's twenty-one days. We're only seven days in. You might see muffins next week. <laughs> <laughs> well, Dylan, thank you so much for uh, for chilling with us, um, giving us a bit of insight. Um, I think a lot of people are so so open to stuff now, and I think um, what you provided will obviously help people just uh, either expand the community or then or just um, get involved in some sort of way. So, thank you, Dylan. Thank you so much for joining us. Yeah. Oh, thank you for having me. Awesome, Dylan. Cheers. We'll speak to you guys soon. Then. <laughs>